Hello and welcome back. This is Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Back here in Irvine, just finished um, the retrofit of the drip irrigation here at the job site for our front yard landscape renovation. The uh, project calls for retrofitting of the existing sprinklers to the Rainbird 1800 retro kit it has uh, a pressure regulator and a filter inside that pop-up body there and it has a dual port so we can go to the left and to the right in order to uh, have irrigation for both sides of the property and we have another port that's up there in the upper planter bed area where we have our half an inch drip tubing and to avoid wasting drip line and dripping areas that are not going to have any plant material what i did is came through and put in sections of blank or solid um, drip line as you see there and convert it over to the netafilm uh, drip line with the inline drip emitter it's a 0 0.6 gallon per hour emitter which is called for in the uh, requirements for the rebate through the water district we have to put in the netafilm drip tubing so we retrofit it and there's a couple ports that go around this plant right here this uh, sun drops this um, plant and uh, you can see our junctions here I use the um, drip lock fittings They're made exclusively by the hydro rain corporation out of Salt Lake City Utah www.hydrorain.com it makes the installation very fast and efficient and uh, so I utilize those. They have a compression to where if you want to take those apart, we can push those flanges down and pull this pipe apart. So it makes it very convenient to work with. But um, we have different fittings for the application. And it goes all the way around. And we finished out with our drip lock um, end piece right here, end cap. We screw it off to flush it out. So flush cap at the end. And our pressure regulated cap is up here the other part of the run of the line so here's our pressure um, it's a pressure release up here at the top so we can be able to release the pressure in the line so it's not under consistent pressure but we have it snaked around we'll take a picture of it so we have it as built so the client will know where the drip pipe is going to be located so if you want to add in put in a T and add plants up in the upper plant upper planter bed area or the upper yard area he can do that or um, putting it anywhere along the line here you can put in more plant material if he chooses to the plant material that we have in is a minimum that's required by the water district to have in on the job site so it's pretty naked looking in my opinion but from the plan standpoint this is uh, what it needs in order to qualify for the rebate up here in the top this part of the landscape is not part of the rebate program. The client wanted to take those plants out, so we replaced them with some Pucara coral bells. This is a north facing wall, so we need something that's going to be able to take the shade but have some color. And we have some uh, Raphaela's uh, Richmond Densis that has really nice shiny leaves and red flowers. It flowers and it looks really good. It'll fill out these areas really nice. So we have those in there. We have a pittosporum, a variegated form of uh, pittosporum there. I can't think of the variety off the top, but it's got a really interesting color to it. It's got a little bit of a reddish wine color to the leaf and variegated. So it's a really nice one. I think it's one of the new varieties, sunset varieties. I have to look it up. Hey, buddy, what's hey. going on? Getting there, huh? It sure is. Yeah, we're about ready to put the mulch down here. Just doing a, a quick follow-up video on what's going on. I have a continuation of the project. You see, I watered down so we can be able to bring up any of the uh, the old Bermuda and stuff. So I've been watering the whole property down. You see up here? See what his grasses is coming back up? Uh -huh. Because this Bermuda is very deeply rooted. So before we put the mulch it's down... It's coming up already. Yeah. Well, I watered it down quite a bit. Use each day I spray the whole property down. That's why you see it all wet. Uh -huh. And there are certain areas that when we did the uh, excavation of the uh, of the old turf, we didn't go down really deep. So it's a couple areas. There's one there and there's one over there. 
and there's one I seen out this way. So it's good that we got those up and growing now, so that way I can hit it again, uh, be able to get a kill before we put the mulch down, because we're about ready to put the mulch down out here in the main yard area. So that's where we're at today. So tomorrow I'll do some more irrigation on the other side, a couple plants, might put some mulch down, put drip emitters up to the top, because those, those it doesn't have the inline emitters up there, so you have to put in the emitters. But around here, what we did is cut out a section of the pipe where the emitter is actually in here, because they're like every foot, and then in between it's blank. So it's blank, then it's emitter blank, so it doesn't waste all the emitters and stuff like that. More efficiency. But that's where we're at, brother. This is the number that was called for based on the um, the plan and the requirements. And then at any point in time, the client can add more to it, which I'm pretty sure he will, because it's pretty naked out here in the yeah. front area. But the rest will be grass? there's no grass going in here, bro. Oh. This is it. It's going to be oh, mulching here. The Bermuda, was, um... the Bermuda is coming back when it's not supposed to be there. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, won't, it, won't, it won't last. No, we don't want it to last. We want it to be out. But no, it's going to be mulching here. Um, so all this will be mulched out. But at some point in time, if the client wanted to add more landscape plants in here, he can do that. See, there's one right here. See this one coming up there? Yeah. Yeah. So there's sporadic areas that um, by putting the water down and soaking this out, they're thinking they're going to have new life. But all they're doing is exposing themselves for death. And that's what we have here in Irvine, Cali. Stay tuned for more. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Stay tuned, watch the rabbit come out of the hat.